Um, people say that they are astonished by you being 21. Yes. You say, and yeah. and you have de- you have a developed and confident style. How do you feel like you've developed musically? Um, and what are your influences? My influences come uh, a lot from America and the artists that they, they have over there. And uh, I'd say particularly Alison Krauss and Nancy Griffith, a bit of bluegrass and a bit of American folk. And I always kind of like the kind of country music side of things. Mm-hmm. I've always, yeah, if, there's something about country songs that, you know, I, I love. You know, they, they always tell oh, I stories. Them. Yeah, yeah, they're great. And I, I like that kind of side of things. So I suppose when I started out singing, I did sing a lot of country songs. Then I kind of got into doing more folk stuff. I used to go out to folk clubs, singers nights, and still do from time to time, you know, when I'm back home and we're not kind of traveling out to other gigs. And, you know, just go to singers nights, and that's mainly kind of folk orientated. But one thing I will say about, you know, people go, oh, folk music. You know, as like it's a bad thing, oh, but okay. so many, so many people do. Oh, and yeah, it's I it's crazy. Agree with what you're saying. Yeah, and it folk. The word folk sometimes really puts young people off. Mm. And what I would say to these young people is, go out there, go and sing your songs, because the people at folk clubs, okay, they might some of them might be you know middle aged, some of them might have beards and some of them might drink well, pints of beer. <laughs> well yeah, lots of people have beards and woolly jumpers. And they're all yeah, and it's most people over yeah, fifty here. Exactly. But you know, it's it's a, a kind of arena of music of people that is so appreciative and really appreciates new young people coming onto the scene. And you know, it's folk has has that sort of kind of vibe. reputation and vibe, yeah. And it's wrongly put you know I mean it, it's wrongly interpreted and you know you've just got to go out there and do it you know because you know otherwise you, you you're never going to get out and sing and enjoy yourself so go out and go for the folk clubs and everything that's, that's the best okay, the the yeah. I love going to see obscure and unknown bands mm-hmm. and band nights and I love it so uh, but I haven't really come across anything like that but if I do I'll give it a go yeah go for it I, I'll give it a go cool and uh, what do you I should have watched this earlier what do you love most about playing live because a lot of people especially uh, people who play guitars like yeah. acoustically love playing live more than anything yeah there's loads of things I love about playing live I love meeting the audiences I love chatting to them because mm. I can talk for England yeah. and, uh, <laughs> so can I you make a match but this is about you <laughs> it's one of those things you go you go to a gig and you get chatting to people either you're on stage and it's the kind of stage chat but you know they all feel like friends you know once you've kind of warmed up and they're warmed up to you and you're used to each other it's one of those things everyone's so friendly and it's like you just sat in a room with your mates really mm. I love that I really do because it's just such a wonderful atmosphere when, when you get that like we've had today at the rock festival mm. you know it was it really felt like that from where i was sitting and oh, it's a great day today like yeah. you said earlier the rock and beer fest is now swiftly known as the cambridge rock cambridge festival cambridge rock festival yeah i think i know the reason behind why they changed the um <laughs> title but we won't we will get it off off limits um have you got any funny stories about touring Funny stories or about touring. Or any embarrassing moments that you want to share with the group and your friends and your fans? Embarrassing moments? I can be a bit of a goon sometimes. A bit of um, a goon? A bit of a goon, yeah. Is that like geek? Uh, I can be... You've got a degree. You I, can, can I can be a geek. I do have a degree. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, a bit of a geek. But I'm, I, can, I can be terribly accident pro. Mm-hmm. I do drop things on stage. I, I do often throw picks at people, you know, when I'm playing guitar. That's quite funny. And I, I was actually playing... <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, you don't want to don't sit too close, not on the front row. Uh, well, not when I'm playing guitar, because I do throw them occasionally. I will sit at the front, aren't they, for next time? <laughs> you'll know, yeah, you'll know. Generally, um, it's not too bad. I can be a little bit accident prone, but, you know, usually when I'm tired. <laughs> like last night. Yeah, like but last yeah, you're night. Better now. I was very tired last night, but... I've had a sleep since. No, I've had a sleep. I'm like, woo, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. It's great. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Um, you made the first album, Sleeping at the Station. Yes. Um, and then your second album, um, Ghosts and Heroes, is your second album that you're currently 
just about to start working on. Yes. How do you feel like you've developed musically from um, sleeping at the station to Ghosts and Heroes? Yeah, uh, because I've not had much time to write in, in the degree kind of period, um, it's a different album with that kind of other people's songs on. So it's going to be much more focused on the treatment of the songs and the, the overall sound. There's different sounds I'd like to achieve. Um, like I'd, I'd really admire a guy called Richard Hawley, who's from Sheffield and as well. Right. There's yep. so many, so many <laughs> artists, and he's you know now kind of going out and doing it solo. He's brilliant. He's a lovely guy as well to meet. He's he's really down to earth, top bloke, and um, you know I really like the way he's got a, a very very much a Richard Hawley sound, and there's lots of things in that. Richard actually. Hawley sounds like Richard Hawley. Yeah, Richard Hawley sound. <laughs> yeah, Tony Parker sounds like. Charlie Barker. Yes, yeah. that's the thing. But there's so many sounds that other artists have that I would maybe like to kind of have a look at and how they achieve those that's sorts fantastic. of things. And you know, some of the big songs I'd like some of them to have, you know, maybe more of a band setup as opposed to just me and a guitar. And maybe kind of draw upon things from like you know Alison Crash, Union Station, you know that sort of bluegrass feel because I, I mean I, I love all that sort of bluegrass stuff, the old time stuff. Cool, sweet. And what is your favourite song on the um, on the, on the on the album on Sleeping at the Station? On Sleeping at the Station, um, I really love Outbound Plane. It's a Nancy Griffith song, and um, I really like the sound that we managed to achieve on that, which was more of a full band sound. Um, uh, I've got a, a couple of guitarists. It was, it was me and Chris Thornton Smith who was playing guitar on that and he really he faffed around with lots of strange tunings on guitars he's very clever like that and um, he did he played a different tuning to the tuning I was playing and um, he gave it another sound again um, there's a guy called Sam Sweeney and he played the drums on that he also plays violin and oh, all I think sorts violins of and Violins and classical music and acoustic is gorgeous. Yeah, he he's I do really, love it. He played the you know other on other tracks with with you know kind of oh, a cool. folk fiddle, and uh, so folk fiddle. a folk fiddle. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good, and they were really <laughs> great guys to come and come and join me. But I really love the sound that we achieved on Outbound Plane. It's just it's a happy song, and I like it. Great, great. Um, can you do one thing for me? Yeah. Can you um. Sign my T-shirt. Yes, of course I can. Thank of you. course I can. Thanks, Charlie. I'm getting everyone to sign my T-shirt because why not? Why I got, not? I woke up this morning and I decided to wear orange. <laughs> it was really, really relaxing. Why not wear orange? Why there not wear go. orange? Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's like, why? Why I'm not like, wear why orange? Not? Why not wear orange? Why not? You, you never ever get run over by any form no, of drugs exactly. you know, going exactly. around. Exactly, I totally agree. So they'll, they'll, everyone will see you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> stand that was my plan. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone has a bulldozer, they'll miss me. They will. And hit the cat. <laughs> um, okay, and um, before we go, mm. um, had absolutely, I've got to say before we go, I absolutely really enjoyed watching you live. Thank you. And um, you're good fun. And you've got, a, I never seen a guitarist put a clip on the guitar before. Is that. Your thing at the end, yeah. Uh, ah, capos, yeah, capos. Because I'm learning the guitar uh, at the moment, and I can just about make out Louis Louis. Ah, uh, there now. No, no, and that's about it. Oh, well, that's good. That's a start. That's it a really a start. good tune to start for with. Five lessons. Yeah, bloody hell, yeah. <laughs> but go the, for it. You know, I was going to say to you, I actually have a pick holder. Good. And it comes with a really sticky back thing, <laughs> and I stuck it on the back of my guitar, and I've got about four or five picks in there, so I'll never forget with that one. Good. I am going to personally send you a pick holder. Oh, thank you. Would you like one? I'll go to a music shop, my local music awesome. shop, and I'll get you a pick holder. Thank you. Because you can't be without one, really. I, I, it, I'm absolutely gutted I lost it and left it at Ely Folk Festival. I'm gutted. Well, I'll tell you what, when you're really, really famous, I can go, that pick holder, I bought that. Yeah. And you, you see? see it on stage in various places in, and in photos on the website. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you a pick holder. Just uh, give me the address and um, I will send you a pick holder. Thank you. No problem. Well, thank you very much for your time. No, thank you. It's been really good. Thank you. Thank you.